Next we have Karen Harnoy, who is town manager by day and finance director, town accountant, whenever she can find the time. Would you please help us with your, give us your presentation? <laughs> Whichever you prefer. Good evening, I'm Karen Harnoy, the finance director and town accountant. And I'm here to give the departmental presentation for the accounting, accounting department and the finance department. So as an introduction, there are two full-time employees in the accounting department, myself and the accounting clerk. The town accountant has the ultimate responsibility for the departmental functions. The final reviews are conducted by the town accountant on all the functions of payroll, cash receipts, disbursements, and budget-related items. The town accountant is also the super user or the designated administrator for our general ledger. So I would also be the person who would assign the new users, delete the users who aren't there anymore, update permissions, and set up the new general ledger accounts. As my role as the finance director, along with the town manager, we are responsible for creating and presenting the yearly budget forecasts of revenue and expenses. And the finance director, as I'm doing presently, will cover for the town manager during periods of vacation or other absences. And the finance director also oversees functions of the other financial departments. Now, my accountant clerk, who has been working for the town for 34 years, not always in the capacity of the accounting department, but um, just some of her roles is to review the bills and vouchers for both the town and the school, and she prepares the combined warrant, verifies availability of funds, determines compliance with applicable laws and policies, um, and she conducts some additional reviews of payroll and cash receipts. Now, she also verifies the compliance with certified payrolls and OSHA cards, um, which are requirements on capital projects. And it's been a lot of work lately with the middle and high school project, because there's been a lot of vendors and subcontractors on that job. And then she also maintains spreadsheets that she used to track expenditures on town and school grants and also on special accounts and projects that we monitor. Um, just to remind everyone that the town's fiscal year runs from July 1st <coughs> to June 30th. The town account maintains the general ledger, and the general ledger is audited yearly. A request for proposal is sent out for every three years to procure audit services. And we also send out another request for proposal that's required every two years, and that is to secure actuarial services for other post-employment benefits, which generally covers, in our case, health and, and life insurance. And this is required under GASB 45, which is, is the Governmental Accounting Standards Board, which puts out a, not, a lot of pronouncements that the accountants need to follow. And now I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through our role in the different um, functions. Um, the cash receipts, the departments, including the school department, um, supplies the accounting office with copies of their turnovers. And, but the treasurer's office posts the cash receipts in to the system in batch mode. And what we do as a check function is we make sure that we match up the backup to the appropriate batches, review, make sure everything's going to the right accounts, and then we post them in from there. Um, there's a couple of reports, cash receipt reports, that we prepare. Each month, we do a local receipt spreadsheet that goes to the town manager and the treasurer for review, and it compares the current month's revenue to the same month a year prior, just to see how we're doing comparison-wise, and also it compares us to the full fiscal year totals from the year before. So it gives us a good idea if we're in the range of where we should be. And cash is also reconciled monthly between the treasurer and the accountant's office. For cash disbursements, vouchers and bills are submitted to our office, examined for completeness, correctness, and compliance, as I had mentioned before, which includes any account distribution and the availability of funds. The warrant is prepared weekly for my review 
After the review, the warrant is run. The warrant and the bills are given to the treasurer's office. Now they run the checks and they review and mail the checks as a check against us, as an internal control function. Now currently the town accountant's office re also reviews school purchase orders prior to the town manager signing off on them. We have a process where the school superintendent signs, it'll come down to me for review, I check availability of funds and the account distribution, and then the town manager will go through and sign off. So there's a dual signature process currently. Monthly budget reports are, are distributed to the town departments to reconcile to their records. And quarterly budget reports are distributed to the town council and also several other boards and committees for their review. Now in payroll, um, the accounting clerk reviews the vouchers and the payroll reports. Um, as I had mentioned before, that she maintains certain spreadsheets where you post entries into special accounts, so the grants entries are posted from payroll. Um, she prints out the town and school entries, and then, we re and then I review them a final time, make sure everything looks right and everything's posted into the general ledger. Commitments, abatements, and other entries. Now, the assessor's office generates entries during the month for um, commitments and abatements that are created and granted. There's also written documentation that backs them up so those two are reconciled together and then the entries will be posted. Now the receivable accounts and the deferred revenue accounts are balanced quarterly to the treasurer's detail reports. And if there's any other journal entries that are required to reclassify amounts or adjust amounts. Those two are um, both for town and school entered in the system, but the accountant's office has the final review and the posting for that. Now on to the budget. The finance director works with the town manager beginning usually in January to formulate the budget assumptions and the revenue forecast for the upcoming fiscal year. The um, department budgets are created and the budgets are requested from the different departments. We um, receive those in and do an init initial review. We schedule all the meetings with the department heads to have them come in and discuss. And then prior to them coming in, I do do a little bit more thorough review and going through all the salary calculations and um, some of the expenditure accounts to make sure everything looks in line. And then the, the, town, the town manager and myself meet with all the departments, and that's when the town manager makes his recommendations for the expenditure amounts. After those are determined, then I will prepare the, um, the reports that are included in the budget packet, the revenue and expense summary, the budget comparisons of the current year that we're in and the next fiscal year that we're forecasting, the budget document and any other documents um, that are needed. And then we update our PowerPoint presentation that we do every year. And then the budget books are created and distributed to the council before May 1st. Um, and then the subcommittee meetings, as you know, are scheduled and we attend those to go through all the departmental budgets. Final adjustments are made as necessary and then the budget is voted by town council in May. I'll just mention a little bit about the tax rate. It's certified by the Department of Revenue generally in December. The principal assessor and the town accountant generally have the major roles in completing the paperwork because there's a lot of financial information and valuation information needed on that. Um, and, then, and then I just want to wrap up by just mentioning a couple of reports that the office is re responsible for. Our annual report is called the Schedule A, which is due October 31st of each year. The report is required by the Department of Revenue and reports revenue expenditures and also reconciles the, f the fund balances from beginning to end. And then the free cash balance sheet is another really important report that we put together and that's usually submitted in the fall. This is for free cash to be certified by the Department of Revenue and the amounts are certified for the general fund, the water fund, and the sewer fund, and they must be certified before the funds can be appropriated for use. And basically, free cash is the amount of 
unobligated fund balance that is available for use by the town. And then the last thing I just want to mention is that the town also supplies financial information to the school department who files their end of year report every year. Now, there's this couple different signatures on there. I believe it's a superintendent, the business manager, and also the town accountant needs to sign it too. So I will supply them with the information that they need from the town. And then I also do a review of certain items on there just to make sure everything looks reasonable. And then I sign off on that. So hopefully that wasn't too long and to the point. I don't know if anybody might have any questions for me. Does anybody have any questions? I, I have a question. I was wondering if you could recommend a really good introductory book about municipal finance because I went through and I wrote down every word that you said that I didn't understand and they were an awful lot of words. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'd love to learn more about your job, but I feel like I'm so behind your level of knowledge. I was wondering if, there, if, if somebody's coming to this and has never had any sort of experience um, with municipal accounting, what would be a good way to learn more? Well, you know, what I could recommend first, and it's totally up to you, I just put together just like a PowerPoint outline. If you mm -hmm. want a copy of that, you can let me know. Oh, so that would kind be of wonderful. Read through it. Um, we do have some, I don't know if the UMIS manual would be a little bit much, but maybe there's some parts in there, the Uniform Municipal Accounting System. If there's something in particular maybe you'd like to start with or focus with, or maybe there's some introduction about you know, revenues, expenditures, those type of things. So maybe sometime you could stop in the office, even on like on a Thursday night, and I could show it to you. Oh, great, thank you and so much. And maybe you could see where you might want to start. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. Councilor Regis, and thank please, whatever the question is, say it in English so we all understand. No, no, it's not a question. Just to add to Karen's comments um, uh, to um, Councilor Peliquin, um, Maybe the DOR website, uh, the Division of Local Services website, provides some um, publications. Um, there's a municipal finance glossary mm -hmm. um, that they do uh, a good job with, I think. It's, it's really um, explains everything in English, if you will. And um, also there's a primer in there, I think, for um, folks like us, uh, elected officials. Um, and I think they also do a good job with that, too. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Thank you. If, yes. if I could just comment, too, I know that there's a seminar, and I'm not sure if it took place in June, but it's, it's the new officials, new elected officials forum. That's not exactly the correct term. But if I find something on that, I can send that to you, too. And a lot of the newly elected or appointed can kind of go to that and have a beginning. Great. Forum. Yeah. That would be great. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Harnoy.